Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. Virgo, let's check out your cards for this week, starting the 3rd of April. And from the teacup tarot deck, your overall energy is the page of wands. Now, the pages all bring in messages and information. The page of wands brings in new ideas, creative project, positive change, news, and new opportunity. So stay awake. Be looking out for this information coming in because it's looking for you. So make sure you're looking out for all these lovely new things coming in. Your help or your hurdle. The Four of Teacups says stand up, turn round, look at the bigger picture. Don't be so focused in one direction that you miss a golden opportunity in another. Look, here it is right behind her. So just step back, take your time, look at the bigger picture and stay awake for these new opportunities because your guidance here, the dreamer card, which is the first card in the whole deck, says take that leap of faith. You are ready. You've got everything you need. And the lovely thing about this card is she's opening the doors to walk through. She isn't just standing behind the door thinking, what shall I do? She's prepared to open them, step out of the comfort zone a little bit and see where that will take her. How can we help ourselves? 15 Ego says, don't let any old fears or doubts or self-sabotage hold you back. Leave anything that's weighing you down behind you just like she's done here, look, these rocks in this bucket, they're too heavy. She doesn't need to take those because the road is opening up in front of her as she follows the balloons, which are so much lighter. She's focusing on confidence. She's focusing on positivity and self-belief. And that's just what you need to be mindful of this week. Don't let any old fears hold you back. Pulling it all together, the King of Pencils steps in. Now, the King of Pencils, an authority figure in the deck, is very clever and very well educated in complex paperwork. So it might be a contract. It might be a financial issue. It might be a legal issue. The King of Pencils steps in with expertise and advice should you want to listen to it. So it's here for you. Just make sure that if there's any fine paperwork or complex paperwork going on this week, especially if it's connected with this new opportunity, that you get some professional advice. The final outcome card is the Emperor. This is you stepping up into this leadership role, making plans. This card says, make your plans, get organized, get everything ready. The emperor is ready to make a move forward in an instant because everything's planned, everything's organized and everything is ready. So just to summarize the tarot cards, wonderful opportunities and messages coming in about new opportunities, um, positive change, new ideas, new information, creative projects even, information on them coming in. Pay attention. You don't want to miss this lovely opportunity. And when you find it, be ready to step through those doors of opportunity. Don't let any fears hold you back. Take advice if you need it on any complex paperwork attached to that. And be ready. Get organised. So let's clarify with a time to shine deck. 
A five of wisdom is about working in groups and working with other people. This is about collaboration. This is about talking things over. It's connections with other people, mentoring, teaching, everybody bringing something different to the table for the benefit of everybody else. So working in groups is key this week and could very well have something to do with this new information that comes in. The 10 of emotion is lovely. It's the happy ever after card, emotional fulfillment, contented family life and loving and rewarding relationships. So happiness and emotional fulfillment are here for you. The nine of life says, take time out for some me time. Relax and enjoy some little luxuries. Take some time out for yourself. This is you enjoying the results of your hard work. The six of action is the victory card. Well done. Enjoying the results of your hard work. Here's the success coming in for you. The four of wisdom. We have a double message here. This is the emperor in the tarot deck. It's the four of wisdom in the time to shine deck. This is you stepping up, getting organized, making plans and staying disciplined. Stepping into this leadership role now. And the final outcome card, the seven of emotion, this has come out in the other readings as well. It's making sound decisions this week, making choices with care. So get all your information together, take advice if you need it, so you can make sensible and wise choices. Because the new opportunities for creative projects and new ideas and positive change are here. Don't let anything or negativity hold you back. Be ready to spot this golden opportunity coming in for you. And then get organised, time for you to step up now, walk through that door of wonderful opportunity because the success is waiting for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.